What's going on, Loud House Nation? It is your boy Loud here with another tutorial on how to add your own custom characters to the Kaide Engine. It's a little bit of a different and heftier process compared to Psych Engine. You're going to need a couple of things. First, as you see on the 1.8 release of Kaide Engine, you're not going to download this one. This just gives you like the base build of the game where you can go in and just play it. However, what we're going to be doing is we're going to need to download the source code. That is where essentially we're building the game kind of like from scratch, but it's not like you're going to be doing a whole bunch of coding. Just stick with me. I'll walk you through it. Next thing you need to download is Visual Studio Code. All these links will be in the description. Based on whatever setup you've got, if you use Windows, you download here. And again, just based on your processor and such, either 64-bit or 32-bit. Linux or Macs. Or Mac OS. But download here. And you run the setup. Um, when it goes when it goes to ask you about like all the setup and stuff, just set it to like the individual components. You don't need to do anything specific. Just set it individual components, run through the normal setup, you're good to go. And you're gonna need to download hacks, um, hacks to fix 4.1.5. You could download the new one. I've heard from others that there could be some issues with certain builds using that new one. So just stick with this one for right now until this one gets, you know, some updates on it. But same dealio, you download it based on whichever operating system you have. And last but not least, you're going to need to download Git. Same dealio, go by whatever your operating system is. I'm using Windows, so it'll be Windows for all of these. Well, these three anyways. But once you get that done, run the setup.exe for this thing. It'll be fairly simple and straightforward. And the best part, it won't add anything to your desktop, so don't need to worry about that. Once that's done, you can also, you could create a shortcut for this, but you won't need to worry about it for this tutorial. But run through these setups, you'll be good. Same thing for this one. And once all that is done, we're going to go down to the Kaide engine here. And you'll just extract the files here. If you've done that correctly, you should see like a little folder up here. So first things first, we're going to go into Kaide Engine. We're going to go into Assets in the Shared folder, Images, and then Characters. And similar to Psych Engine, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to use the Red Sty Playable GF here. You'll just take the PNG and XML file. These are very important. Copy these two, drag and drop them here. I've already done so. And just cause I was having some issues earlier, I went ahead and renamed these two. So I have it renamed as gf2.png, gf2.xml. And this is also important, but I'm still having some issues. So I'll update it once I figure some stuff out, but an offset text file, which you can make just by doing right clicking with the text document and naming it GF2 offsets. It has to be capital O F F S E T S. Once you've got that done, we're going to go to Kaida engine here, go into the source folder. You can go ahead and minimize this. My apologies. Pull up the screen and you're going to go to character.hx. You got visual studio set up. Once you click on it, and if it asks you where you want to open it, just say Visual Studio Code. But you'll go in here. And this has all the kind of in-game code and text to help run and build the game. First things first, you're going to find the character file you want to copy off of. When adding your own custom characters, you want to kind of go based off the character in the game and just work around their um text files and such in here. For most tutorials, they have you copy the dad, but for some reason, I could not get the pose, to, like the character file to flip. So for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna have you guys copy BF right here. You'll just start from here, select all of this, copy, and then going at the very end of this text string, our code file here. Last one should be like parents Christmas. Click here, you'll hit enter twice. 
and then hit shift and tab together to back up. Control V to paste and voila. Now to kind of help out with this, we're gonna go open this folder back up for Kite Engine. Go back to assets, share images. And what we're looking for is that XML file, but you can open that up with just notepad, wordpad, doesn't matter. Notepad will probably work better for you. Minimize this one, and then we'll just set this to the side because what we're going to be doing is, if you recall that we have everything renamed as GF2 for both the XML and the PNG file, that's what we're going to be doing here. So the case they're referring to is the character file in the game or in the character list. So we'll just type GF2. And then this one is getting pulling from the image file. So you'll select this one as well and just rename that as GF2. Now this part is a little tedious, but as you see where it says VF idle dance in this text file here, we're going to find, oh, sorry. It looks like I pulled up the wrong one, pardon me. GF2 XML, here we go, looking for. But you're gonna go down and find, basically you're kind of matching the cases here and replacing it with the ones in this XML file so it reads correctly. So for example, GF idle dance, select it, copy, select over this, control V, GF node up, and just find something similar like GF up. And you don't have to copy all of them, just get like the starting one. The game will read it for you to add all the other ones for you. Copy, GF note up, set, and then BF note left. And yeah, just take your time. No need to rush. If you rush, you're prone to make a mistake. So just take your time. Put on some music, you know, as you do it. Bop, system tunes, all the good stuff. And I will catch y'all in a little bit once we got all this set up. Okay, now that you've got that all set up, it should be something like this. Case GF2, GF2 shared, yada yada. Everything changed that isn't still from BF, except for maybe the bar color. I'll need to figure out how to change it to the correct color. But once you do that, you can do Control S or just hit File, Save. Once it's saved, we're gonna go ahead and close out of this. Next thing here, and my apologies, should have had this at the very forefront, but we're gonna hit Command Prompt before we go run the program. And what we're gonna do here is in this page, which I'll also link in the description if you wanna follow off of this. It's basically the same little deal for how to get everything set up for building the game. Installing where it has a link here, install the hexapixel, install git, all the good stuff. What you're gonna do is this part, step four. You're gonna, these are all command prop lines, but you're gonna follow this hexalib install line 7.9.0. Now I've already got it installed, so it'll tell me like you already have it, but you're gonna copy all these command lines and such, paste them in here. Um, I'll show you this part, for example, because you'll need to pay extra attention. Actually, when you do the git parts, link underscore uag, it'll pull up another part right here that says git path. Whenever you see these links here, you're gonna copy this link. Paste it in the git path. And of course it tells me I already have it installed, update it and yada yada. You'll do that. So pay extra attention. Don't just rush through this. Again, take your time. Patience is a virtue. But if it's anything like these, just run them through, enter, wait for the command prompt in, uh, to compile the code. It should bring you back to here and you just keep doing that till you get to the last one here. Once all that is done, you can minimize out of here. What we're going to do 
is just add a few more things before we load up the game. So we're going to go back into the assets tab. We're going to go into the preload folder. We're going to go into data and character list. Down here at the very end, enter and type in GF2 or whatever you have it renamed as for the GF or custom character you're using. File and save. This is very important because if you do not do this, all that you just did there is pretty much meaningless. The character is not going to show up on your drop down list. So make sure you get this done. Once it's in there, you can close out. If you want to add your own custom icons and such, go into images. Now, again, for the sake of the tutorial, I just simply did GF. So to make it simple, we just copied the one in here, pasted it, and then just renamed it to icon-gf2. I tried to do the playable GF one, but it kept default into the icon face one. So we just went with this and that's of course a reason for the rename. Once that's all done here in Kata Engine, you'll hit file, like a uh, Kata Engine tab up here, hit file, open Windows PowerShell. No, it looks scary and a little command prompt thing, but stick with me, real simple. What you do from here is live test windows. And you'll just hit enter. However, I do want to show you if you type in debug, and this is will help for fixing kind of like the offsets. Because for the first time around, it might offset certain poses and things wrong for your character. But if you're just going to run through the game and program just to see the character, you'll do line test windows. But for this sake, we're just going to do the debug because the offset editor key isn't, it doesn't work if you don't type this part in dash debug. So do that, hit enter. Uh, hold on a second. Line test windows dash debug. Let's have a project XML. Okay. One second, guys. Apologies about that. But if you run through it the correct way, you should run through all the stuff. It'll lag for a little minute. Depending on your PC build, this will be pretty fast, pretty slow. So just bear with it. But you'll see a bunch of stuff line up here. And it'll just compile out until it gets the game running. I'll go ahead and just skip to that for you. So you don't have to sit through all this. All right, and we're back. Full screen there. We'll just navigate over to free play for now. And just choose any old song. We'll go on our favorites. It's all loads up like normal. Number seven to bring up the chart editor. And as you see, there's player one, player two, BF, and Dan. So what we'll be doing is just hit the drop down arrow. And if you've done everything correct, such as like the character list and all that, you should see your character pull up at the bottom of the character list, BF2, or whatever you have it named as. Click on it, and it has GF2 set, and player two is Dan. Hit enter. And voila, there is your character skin. Now already you can tell like as I'm hitting the notes, the character is like moving around a lot. This is where you would hit the six key, which again, it doesn't work if you do the regular line test. What you would need to do is exit out the game where it brings up this command line at the bottom. Lime test windows dash debug. You run this, it runs out the game similar to normal. But what you'll do is same thing. Once you set up the chart editor and everything, hit the six key and it will bring up the chart editor. I'll try to run that again here if it doesn't give me an issue. Let's see. All right, we're back. This time we're in the debug, just so I can show you guys how you can 
fix the offsets for your characters and pulses and everything. Once again, have a free play. Go to any song if you're choosing. Don't worry about all this extra stuff. This is just, again, debug. So it'll show up like that or something similar. Go on to fresh. Three, two, one, go. Not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyways, just so you can see it. Go on to seven. Chart editor, pull up your character, enter again. And again, if you're in the debug menu, you now have access to the offset editor, Three, which is two, not the one, eight key. Go. That was for the old builds. You have the six key. And voila, here we are. So what you do here is... On the arrow keys, if you move left, it'll bring the character to the left, to the right. If you hold shift while clicking it, it'll move by 10 spots. If you do shift W, it'll move forward for their animations. Like for the dad here, you see C left, C right, down, and then this idle, idle loop. Then you can just fix the offsets here. Of course, to fix this for any other character or your character, you can just bring them in here and it'll load them up. Of course, I'm getting this error, so I'll probably update this in the comments um, when and where I can get that fixed. But um, essentially, that's all you do to load up the custom characters. I'll update when I can, you know, figure out some stuff on how to get that offset file working and amongst other things but thank you all for watching leave a like if i was able to help you out and then you enjoyed the video leave some comments if you have any other questions or concerns that i may address for this video or next and i will catch you all later ciao people